इज इट हराम फॉर अ मैन टू वेयर चेन नॉट गोल्ड चेन एज फार एज वेरिंग अ चेन इज कंसर्न मे बी अ नेक्स्ट चेन इज इट हराम इफ नॉट गोल्ड एज फार एज फॉर अ मैन टू वेयर गोल्ड there's a clear cut hadith in the prophet that the gold and silver is haram for the muslim man so wearing gold or or silver whether sorry gold and silk is haram so wearing a gold ring or a gold bracelet or a gold chain it's haram for the man even wearing silk is haram but this is permitted for the women the question is is wearing a chain which is not made of gold maybe made of silver or any other metal is it permitted or not there is another hadith of the prophet which clearly says that you cannot wear things that pertains to the opposite sex so wearing things which are meant particularly for females a man cannot wear and things which are meant for the male a female cannot wear so this is a broad hadith that anything which is meant for particularly a female a male cannot wear and what is particularly meant for a male a female cannot wear for example uh things that are there like a earring a earring is usually meant for a female so a male cannot wear a earring a ring a ring is worn both by male and by female so wearing a ring is permitted and the prophet wore a ring the prophet wore a silver ring so wearing a ring is meant for the female also meant for the male also so wearing a ring is permitted but wearing a gold ring is not talking about a finger ring so wearing a gold ring is not permitted for the male but is permitted for a female but wearing a silver ring is permitted for both so if the ring a finger ring if it's not made of gold it's permitted for the male coming to a neck chain as far as the neck chain is concerned it is a sign it is mainly worn by female so if you see the fatwas of most of the scholars they will say wearing a neck chain is prohibited for a male because it meant for the female but what you should realize that previously all the centuries before i do agree that necklace or a neck chain was primarily worn by the female but in the last few decades we find that it is also worn by the male now is it permitted for a male to wear something of a, which is specially meant for the female and the answer is no but there may be certain times certain things in which it is meant for a particular sex gender later on it may be used for both and the best example i can give you is of a wrist watch the watch when it was introduced earlier in the 16th century when the watch was introduced the wrist watch was only meant for the female the male never wore wrist watch what the male wore was a coat watch you know they took out from their inner you know, coat pocket and this right so if in the 16th and 17th century if a islamic scholar was asked can a man wear wrist watch and the answer would be no because wrist watch was only meant by females only worn by females many people may not be aware of the history of the wrist watch it was in the 18th century or rather towards 1880 or the early, later part of the 19th century about 250 years after the wrist watch was invented it was 1880 or 1780 or the 1880 it was the soldiers they could not afford keeping a watch in the coat because to take out a watch you your 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 hand was utilized so soldiers when they wanted to time if they were had an operation or had any any event or any attack to be done they they had to be precise in time so imagine if you had a gun in hand and then if you had a weapon in hand then you are keeping the weapon down and taking out from your coat was very impractical so in 1880s or 1780s the soldiers started wearing a wrist watch 
that was in the 18th century you know so the wristwatch came in the early part of the 16th century towards the latter part of the 18th century maybe 250 years till 250 years men never wore wristwatches it was meant only for female later on in the early part of the 19th century men started wearing wristwatches in the end of the 19th century it became common that the men wear wristwatch in the 20th and 21st century more men wear wristwatch than female if you do a survey the percentage of men wearing wristwatch is higher than the female wearing wristwatch so today if you ask an Islamic scholar can men wear wristwatch I don't know of any Islamic scholars which say that wristwatch cannot be worn by men but if you go back in history maybe in the 16th century or 17th century if you had asked Islamic scholar can men wear wristwatch and the answer would be no because it was meant specifically for female as times changed after 250 years the men started wearing and now more men wear than women if you ask me can men wear wristwatch of course they can wear no scholar that I know of ever said wristwatch is haram now as far as the chain is concerned the trend of men wearing chain has increased now you find a large percentage not majority but quite a large percentage maybe 10 percent 20 percent of the men they wear chain depending upon which part of the world you come from in certain countries majority of the male wear chain but if you look all over the world previously men used to wear very rarely now yet you have a substantial percentage whether it's 10 percent or 20 percent or more i don't know but yet now the trend has started that men are wearing chain and even the chain the type of chain the men wear is completely different than the type of chain the female wear the men wear much thicker chain it is bigger as compared to female the female necklaces are thin they are delicate even if they are bigger it is it has got in a particular design so the moment you look at a necklace of a female you can identify different than a male easily so I know that if you read fatwas almost all the scholars in the past whether it be Sheikh bin Baz or Sheikh Utaymi or Nasr Darbani or most of the scholars if you see the fatwas are men allowed to wear neck chain and they'll say no and I agree with them but they were not aware that 20 30 years after they die the men would start wearing chain so today i would if you ask me i would say <coughs> don't wear don't wear but the trend is such that there may be a time later on so i will not say it is haram i would say don't wear i being aware of the trend which many of the islamic scholars may not be aware i would say don't wear but I wouldn't give the fatwa haram. I'm not saying that the fatwa given by Sheikh bin Baaz or Sheikh Utaimin or Nasr al is wrong. They are perfectly right. At that time, even I would say haram. But now, since I'm aware of the changes, I would not say it is haram, but I would tell the Muslim, don't wear. Maybe after 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, when it's very common, like how the wrist wash today, more men are wearing than the female. I cannot say it's haram. But today, I would ask the men, that please don't wear neck chains but if you ask me is it haram I would not say it is haram I would be precautious because if I say haram I am aware of the trend and there are very high possibilities in the next few decades the percentage of men wearing will become more like the example I gave of wristwatch when not, not a single man wore for more than 200 years and then they started wearing now there is quite a large percentage of men wearing chains whether it's 10 percent or 20 percent or more they are wearing but and the same like the wristwatch of a female differs than the wristwatch of a male similarly the chains of the male and female differ so if a muslim asked me should a muslim wear a silver chain i would say please don't wear it avoid it but would I give the fatwa haram? No, I would not say it is haram because I'm aware of the trend and I'm aware but I would say Muslims please don't wear chains 
even if it's not made of gold, whether it's silver. But best is to avoid. When you're in doubt, leave it out. Whether you call it makru or not. I would refrain from saying haram, but I would advise the Muslims that please don't wear chain. What's the requirement? Otherwise, well, let them wear. Why involved in something which is doubtful? Because the hadith is very clear cut. That you should not wear clothes that would pertain to a female. A man should not wear clothes that would pertain to a female. And females should not wear clothes that would pertain to a man. And we know many a times that, for example, the trousers were only worn by men, not by female. But now the trend has started. So if you ask me that can a female wear a trousers on top of that she's wearing a abaya, she's fulfilling all the criteria of the hijab, She's wearing a baya, which is loose. But internally, she's wearing a trousers. I would say, yes, it's permitted. As long as the trousers are a female trousers, it's not a male trousers. So you have trousers which are a female. Trousers are basically worn by male. But today, if a female wears uh, izar, which is meant for female, and outside she's wearing a baya, outside she's wearing, in the house, within the, uh, within the family members which are mehram, it's permitted. So depending upon what the trend is, but technically, Islamically, something which is pertaining exclusively for female, a male cannot wear. Something which is pertaining exclusively for a male, a female cannot wear. So, based on this, I would suggest that Muslims should avoid wearing a neck chain, even though it's not of gold. Hope that answers the question.